Shut up. Excellent job, my boy. We should take another look, another quick look around the area to make sure we haven't missed an important clue while solving irrelevant puzzles. Got a painting scrap, though. All right. Uh, we didn't find any other coins here, did we? You're not going to get me. You're not going to get me so easily late. And there's one. Let's see. I guess it wouldn't be up there, would it? Because that's why I clicked before. There's two. You're not going to get me. I want my coins back, fam. Let's see. There's one more somewhere. Is it on the ground? No? Okay. Okay. No. 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 All right. We're moving on. We're moving on. Let's see. Do you know who is Sorceress Ultimacia from FF8? I'm going to guess that's Final Fantasy 8 and not Fast and Furious 8. <laughs> Uh, no, I actually don't play Final Fantasy like that. I'm not a big fan of Final Fantasy. Eventually, I'll play it, but I'm not, I'm not a super fan of it. Look, Professor, there's a strange little shed here. Interesting. It seems this shed roots water to the sewer pipes. I feel this warrants a closer look. Oh, yeah? Hmm. It doesn't appear that the door will open. Let's move on and explore the rest of the park, Luke. Uh, no. Give me my coins. Give me my coins. They in the ground again? Y'all hit them in the ground? No? Okay. It's in the water. I know it's in the water. Dang it. They ain't got no coins here, and I'm sad. Nope. Oh, never mind. There we go. We good. We can bounce. We can bounce this man oh it's another one of these I don't think I've read this letter look at this professor it was lying on the ground it appears to be a scrap of note paper would you read it aloud for me Luke okay we haven't read this one yet so let's go ahead and read it the older she gets the more young miss is catching on to this village's secret she seems lonely which is probably why the boss a asked me to build an amusement park for her. Yep, it certainly looks like I've got my work cut out for me. This young miss mentioned here must be Flora. The whole park was built just for her. But I don't understand this other line. What's all this business about a secret in the village? Oh, I don't know. Whatever could they mean about a secret in the village, Luke? Have you not been paying attention? I just wasn't ready to handle the boss's death. Poor young miss, she's all alone in the world now. But no matter what happens, I have to keep going and take care of her in the boss's place. The page ends there. Baron Reinhold sounds like he truly loved his daughter more than anything. Fate can be so cruel. That's it? That's all y'all got? Y'all ain't gonna talk about this? Y'all ain't gonna, y'all just gonna let me go and find these here, these here, uh, hint coins, huh? Cause I'm not talking to this man just yet. There's one. There's another. Oh, it's a rock. Which means I'm going to have a puzzle. Look, Professor. There's a hidden puzzle here. I'm sick. I'm sick of this. The largest total. This one's worth 50 picarats. How many hint coins is it worth? Nine squares are carved into a, uh, to a piece of wood. Arrange nine unique numbers between one and 51 so that any three numbers have the same sum when added vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. While several combinations are possible, your task is to find the number that occupies the center square when you arrange the numbers to yield the highest total, highest possible total. Okay. Find the number that occupies the center square when you arrange the numbers to yield the highest possible total. I don't like this these kinds of puzzles. I, I in fact hate these kinds of puzzles. Any three numbers 
have the same sum when added vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. I'm not a fan of these. Actually, this one probably... This one's probably not as hard as I'm thinking it is. Find the number that occupies the center square. Can I put, am I allowed to? Hang on. If I do input answer. Okay. Oops, I can't, oh, I, I hit submit by mistake there. Okay, I'm glad I didn't say you messed up. Clearly I messed up, I didn't do anything. Okay. So it will let me take notes. So I wanna arrange nine unique numbers from one to 51 so that no matter how I, oops, that's that was the worst. That was the worst line I've ever drawn in my life. No matter how I arrange them. Sorry. If I arrange them on these lines, they all add up to equal the same number, right? Yeah, they all add up to equal the same number. And also, I want to find the number that occupies this square. And I want it to be the biggest number possible. Okay. So this isn't as hard as I was thinking. Here's, here's what I evaluated from that. Let's say this one's 51 and this one is one. I think that, oh, actually, no, this is, a, this is pretty hard. Okay. What I was going to say is something I learned from dice. If you're using a legitimate, actually balanced die, like, uh, do I have one on my desk? Where, where did my D20 go? My D20 fell. Do I have one in here? Give me a second. I can I can grab a die and show you. I actually brought this up in um a few streams I did a while ago for Pokemon. Give me a second. I'll grab a die. Okay, so I grabbed a few dice. And I'll show you what I'm thinking. Why I picked 51 and 1. Uh, this is actually a bad die to show you. Because it doesn't have numbers on it. It doesn't have the number that I need. Okay. So this is one of the nerdy things that I've realized in my life. Okay. I'll show you using a standard die first. If I have any die. This is a D6. There's six sides. And they're numbered 1 through 6. <clears throat> The highest side, six. The very opposite of it. I'll show you. Let's see. I have my finger on it right here. The very opposite of it, this side, is one. Okay? So opposite of six is one, and opposite of one is six, naturally. This side here is a two. Opposite the two. Let's see. I shouldn't move my finger. Let's, let's see. Opposite the two is a five. And then if it's numbered one through six, that means that the two sides that are left is four and its opposite is three. I showed you all that because that means that every side on the die plus the opposite side should all add up to be the same. And then they should add up to be the highest and the lowest. So seven, we have six and one adds up to equal seven, five and two, adds up to equal seven and then three and four adds up to equal seven okay so and then that goes that goes for any given die i can show you uh let's see actually it doesn't work for any given die but the point is the point of that is uh the highest number plus the lowest number as long as i keep following that pattern they'll add up to equal the same thing every single time now i got a bunch of dice on my way so that's why I started with 51 and 1. The highest number and the lowest number adding up to equal the same thing, 52. So if I go 51 and 52, uh, 51 and 1 here, that's 52. So the next numbers that I add need to equal, I'm sorry, need to add up to equal the same thing. 50, which is the next highest after 51. They have to be unique numbers. And then the next lowest, which would be 2. Okay. 
Now, where I realized that might not work is the fact that I also need to worry about horizontally. While well, several combinations are possible, your task is to find the number that occupies the center square when you arrange the numbers to yield the highest number possible. Actually, it might work. It's saying horizontally, but I'm not sure if it means counting the center only. Like, not this way. I don't have to worry about this top left corner, this top middle, and then this top right corner. Uh, but let me continue on this path here. This would be 49. Let's see. This would be 49. That's the next highest. That's unique. And then this would be 3. Uh, and then, of course, we need to worry about the middle as well. Uh, we could do 48. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then 4. Oh, 4. Uh, now, if we want this number here to be the highest number possible, it would be... It, if we... if. If we're doing this, the number in the middle doesn't matter. But if we want this one to be the highest number possible, it would be 47. But then that creates a problem if I need to worry about this row here. You know, this row adding up to equal the same thing as, I don't know, a diagonal. What's going on, Retro? Welcome to the stream. I'm currently struggling through uh, a puzzle. <laughs> This would need to be 47, right? Oh, actually, it could be. I could switch 47 with 51. I could switch 47 with 51. And then instead, this one here needs to be a five. The question becomes. The question then becomes. Does it want me to care about these, like this horizontal line, this vertical line, this horizontal line, and this vertical line? Because then that matters. These numbers aren't the same, are they? Actually, they, oh no, they can't be. 51, I wouldn't have to add that because that's in both. 50 and 3 is 53, obviously, and then that's 50. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I actually want to. I actually want to solve this puzzle. I want to try this one. I'm gonna say. F Let's try 51. Because I figured that much out. We could switch 47 with 51 here, and then put five out here, and that'll balance it out. That'd be 51 in here, 41, 47 here, and five here. Let's try that. I feel like that's not right. I feel like it's not, ooh, I hate, I hate making fives on this. I feel like that's not right, but I actually want to know this one. I'm okay with messing this one up. I think I've got it. Oh, I guess I did get it. So we didn't have to worry about the numbers on the outside, like the, the horizontal line at the top or at the bottom, or the vertical lines on the right or the left side. That was dope. That was dope. Excuse me? Ugh. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't have to solve every single square because I would have been upset. To get the largest, uh, you place 51 in the inside and then you go. Oh, huh, okay. That's dope. I kind of did it. I just did it with the wrong numbers. Let's see. You put 50 up top. You put 50 in any one corner and then you put seven numbers down in the opposite end and then you add one to the lowest and take it away from the highest as you spin around got it got it i, I keep solving puzzles not the right way you know huh <sighs> Ooh, i got it but just barely the largest total y'all suck you suck layton <laughs> you suck okay let's talk this man let's talk this man Oh, you lads again, eh? How do you like me park? Lovely, isn't it? The sun's shining brightly today, and I'm in fine spirits. Why not celebrate this weather with a puzzle? 
I love, I love when you offer me puzzles, guys. Let me tell you one of my favorites. Me favorites. All right, puzzle number 88 in a hole. This one's worth 30 pick rats. We didn't use a single hint on that other one, did we? I don't think we did. No, I don't think we did. A tennis ball has rolled its way down into a hole. This particular hole is extremely deep and has a sharp bend in the middle, making the ball impossible to retrieve by hand. To make matters worse, the ground around the hole is made of hard clay, so digging the ball out isn't an option. However, you have something incredibly commonplace in hand that you can use to get the ball out. What do you use to get the ball out? Answer in five letters. Something incredibly commonplace that you spell with five letters that can get the ball out. I'm sick of this game. Because I know that it's something. I know that it's something that has a different name in the UK. I know it. <laughs> I know it does. What was the other one? The other one was a compass? Yeah. I'm sick of this game already. I'm sick of this game already, boy. Let's see. What is this? What is this thing? Something incredibly commonplace on hand that you can use to get the ball out. It's I can't use my hand. I can't reach my arm down there. And I can't dig it out. So it's not a shovel. Answer in five letters. I'm blowing a hint. I'm blowing a hint. And you guys can't stop me. You can't reach the bottom of the hole, so how about trying to find some tool that can, you say? No, no, that's not the way. Oh! Oh, I know what it is! I know what it is! I know what it is! Like, I, as soon as I clicked it, I, I thought about what it could be with five letters. And, like, it hit me the second I started reading it. I know what it is. Let's see. Carlos says the Spanish version doesn't have any puzzle in which you can write a word. Why? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I know what it is. Something incredibly commonplace. I was thinking about it. I said, how would it know that this is commonplace? It is. It is entirely commonplace. You guys ready? Actually, I'm going to give you guys a second. I'm going to go back. I'm going to give you guys a second. I want you guys to think this one out. How would you get a tennis ball out of something like this? I want you guys play this one in the chat. I, I want you guys if you don't if you know the answer, like if you if you have seen the answer before, don't put it. But if you haven't done this one, you think you know what the answer is, go ahead and put it in the chat. Let's see. Retro says, "Don't be bashing the UK. We'll tell it you." <laughs> I'm not bashing the UK. It's just there's a lot of puzzles in this game where language matters and and they use british um, british english as opposed to american english and that throws the entire game off like it, it throws off the fairness of puzzles is it water yep it sure is it's entirely water you put the water in the ball will float so as you fill up the hole the ball will float through the curves and come back up that was a that was a dope puzzle. That one was dope. Oh my god. Now I gotta struggle. Now I gotta struggle to make an A. Let's see. Can I make a lowercase A? There we go. That was a good one. That was a good one, but I wish y'all would stop playing. I'm trying to solve like six mysteries at once. Let's make an R. I'm kinda jittery. I don't know if you guys can tell that. I'm kinda I'm a little bit jittery. I don't know why I don't know what just happened. It happened when I got up to get the dice. I'm a little bit jittery. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. Super commonplace. I was like, that's that's the only way. Like, how would they know? How would they know this is something that's very commonplace? Directly, you can use any liquid, uh, but water is a liquid you most likely have handy. Since the ground is hard clay, there's a little chance the water getting absorbed through the earth. Good puzzle. <laughs> 